Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yo, here we go. No, 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 no. Stop. Please, please. Yo, sorry, dog. Anyway. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of It's a Matter of Fact. Uh, with uh, your uh, home guy, homeboy, uh, me, Matt. And I have a special, special... As I do finger quotes, special guest slash somewhat of a co-star. I don't know. Your manager didn't really didn't really inform me about much information. Yo, it's your boy Raggedy Charles. What up, y'all? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> you guys probably know Raggedy Draws from his, uh, some of his videos on this very channel, like uh, Gangster Cooking with Raggedy Draws, How to Make a Sandwich Like a Gangster, Gangster Rapper Reviews the Avengers. I believe that was your very first video, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, dog. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I, because the Avengers was hype, and Hawk was, he was doing his thing outside the limousine. You know what I'm saying? Alrighty. Uh, and of course, uh, at one point in time, uh, me and Raggedy and, uh, Ron were all roommates at one point. But then, of course, uh, we all got our own places, especially after I got married, because my wife didn't want to deal with you and Ron, so, yeah. That was really messed up, dog. Now I gotta deal with this, that dude all the fucking time. You think I want to deal with his shit every single day? Well, I had to deal with both of you guys. But anyway... <laughs> Uh, we're gonna, uh, you know, do what we normally do. Uh, so far, nothing else has been really going on in the, uh, work life, or any job-related stuff, anyway. You know, based on the last episode, because I just uploaded episode 12, so I figured, like, hey, why not, let's, let's do the thing. So, uh, nothing really else has really been going on so far. No really updates, anyway. But, uh, I did notice something very interesting. I want to see if I can find it. It was something like uh, a cop or something rigged the McDonald's Monopoly thing. Hey, yo, for real? Hey, ain't that thing, uh, the thing that uh, be giving people a lot of money? Yes, Raggedy. Yeah, an ex-cop rigged McDonald's Monopoly game, stealing millions. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I love the fact that they, uh... I, I love the, uh, what, I guess... Uh, the Daily Beast on Twitter is what broke the news, I guess, first, maybe? I don't know. But it says, uh, Jerome Jacobson and his network of mobsters, psychic strip club owners, drug traffickers, won almost every prize for 12 years until the FBI launched Operation Final Answer, the Daily Beast reports. So apparently, let's see, where's the, the full... Here it is. In 1987, McDonald's launched a famous Monopoly game in which customers collected game pieces that they could redeem for prizes up to $1 million. But in 2001, it was revealed that almost every major prize since 1999 had been stolen by an insider who rigged the game. Turns out it was an ex-cop. I just love the fact that it's like strip club, <laughs> strip club owners, convicts, drug traffickers. I don't know, like, is that really true? Like, like, oh, an ex-cop just rigged the game, gave, like, all these fucking people money. I don't know. I don't know if this story is true or not. This could be, uh, like, uh, like, one, like, one of those Onion stories. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. Let's see. The uh, full story is right here. Oh, God, this guy was 56. Okay, on August 3rd, uh, 2001, a McDonald's film crew arrived in Busting Beach Town of Wesley, Rhode Island. They carried their cameras and a giant cashier's check to a row of townhouses and knocked on each door. I want to say he won the Monopoly competition. Since 1987, McDonald's customers have originally collected Monopoly game pieces attached to drink cups, french fry packets. Dude, I remember those contests, dude. I was, I used to be like, I want to win the million dollars, but I would never fucking win. Man, because them games are rigged anyway. Especially, like, between then and, like, what, 2001? Man, that motherfucker was balling. Balling he was indeed. 50 year old bachelor. Blah, 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 drinks, blah, blah. Okay, this is just, like, just an intro of, like, how, like, people won this stuff. 
Blizzard Cash won a Sega Game Gear while instant win game pieces gave fil free of filet of fish. <laughs> but Hoover Casino Pitbull fell for bankruptcy. He claimed he won the grand prize one million dollars. That's the thing. Is like you don't even win the million, isn't like isn't like contest or like game shows you get, like half that's taxed. So you get like five hundred now, then five hundred later, like when tax time comes up or some shit like that. I think that's how it works. I think like it includes taxes. Like winning the Powerball, the odds of of him winning were one in two hundred fifty million. There are two ways to win the Monopoly Grant Prize: find the instant win game piece like Hoover, or match Park Place with elusive boardwalk to choose between the heavily taxed lump sum of fifty thousand dollars checks every year for twenty years. Just like Monopoly board game, which is invested as when instructed nature of greed, players traded game pieces to win or outbid each other on eBay. Wow, people actually put these game pieces on eBay. That's hilarious. Arm robbers even held up restaurants demanding for Monopoly tickets. Wow. I've never heard of this. I should actually sit down and like, look up any news reports that have that. Hold on. I'm actually going to go to YouTube right now and look this up. So basically... He, like, rigged the game for, like, years and shit, and, like, I guess the FBI finally caught on to it. Because that's the thing, like, even when, like, when you win contests, like, that stuff comes back in your taxes, and, you know, they see you, you know, getting 50, uh, 500 grand every year, someone's gonna notice. Let's see. Robbers. Man, this is crazy, though, man. Who, man, who would steal, like, McDonald's game pieces? Like, is it that serious? Like, why don't you just rob a bank? I guess, like, you're least likely to get shot, I guess? Who, who knows? Holy shit, it's true. How long ago was this video uploaded? Two months ago? What? I mean, I guess this is, like, one of them. <laughs> Big girl breaks into McDonald's, steals soda. Happen okay, let me not go down the fucking rabbit hole. Let me see if there's, like, actually, like, a news report of it. Okay, I don't need to do that. that this, it's only like a 16 second video. It's, really? At knife point? He just steals like a whole fucking stack of Monopoly cards. I mean... I wouldn't even... And, there, and, like, in the video, there's, like, the woman trying to stop him. I'm like, be glad he's just stealing the fucking Monopoly pieces. Because <laughs> most likely, because, I like, I've noticed, too, like, especially when it comes to, like, Monopoly pieces and shit, you can't go to the same McDonald's over and over. Because eventually, the more pieces you get, the more you're going to find copies of the same one. Especially if you go to only one place. It's so like, what, you just got to go to, like, different McDonald's to get different pieces? Yeah, like, it's either that or go to, like, the next county over or something oh right 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 i got you i got you i don't know that's just people steal anything these days but you know as i would as raggedy would say that cray cray hey yo man dog that's cray cray though who steal monopoly pieces but then again this day and age i ain't worry about it nothing surprised me now yeah anyway so the news and all that stuff taken care of because their Twitter's oh, right now. So let's get over to my boy Raggedy. Hey, hey, Kiki. No, no, don't, don't, fucking, don't do that. Don't do that. Let's uh, let's have you know your <coughs> your your fans. Let uh, why don't you tell them, you know who you are and, and what you're about in in, in life and stuff. All right, yo. All right, listen. Check it. All right, I'm about. I'm almost thirty. You know, I'm almost that dirty thirty. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, my 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 actual name is uh Anthony. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right. I'm putting the government out there. Anthony Johnson. Yeah, your boy Raggedy. Oh, wow. I. Dude, I've known you for almost ten years. You've never told me your name was Anthony. Well, I mean, you know. Sometimes, man, man, I don't want putting my name out there, man. That's how people get shot and shit. I might have people looking for me. You lucky I'm even putting my name out right now. But yeah, 
I'm almost at dirty 30. You know, I'm from B more. What up, y'all? B more, dog. Wait, really? You're from both? I thought you were from Virginia. Man, I'm from the DMV, man. I'm from everywhere in the DMV, you know? Northeast, Southeast, West, East, West, East. That, that, all right, whatever. But, you know, all right, man, you know, ep, ep, you, oh, for, okay, before you even rabble on, let me, can you, you want me to just ask you some interview questions? Yeah, dog, yeah, 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 do that, do that, do that. All right, so, like, uh, I can't believe I'm asking you this, but who inspired you? To start rapping. Man, the Lord up above, man. You know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, Man, God bless me with this brain. And, and I got to artistically push my words out. You know what I'm saying? All right. Sure one, Tupac or Biggie or Diddy, 50, M? I feel like you're strongly influenced by Eminem. I mean, I like Eminem. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, man, I you know what I mean. No, no, I I don't. I I don't know. You sure? Yeah, no, I'm for real. You're you're positive. You're you're not influenced by Eminem, not in one way, shape, or another. What about Vanilla Ice? Nah, dog, man. not the Ice Ice, but man, he stole that man. I'm like, nah, I ain't, I ain't about that life. You're sure? Yeah, man, man, pop, man, move on. Next question, dog, man. All these questions. Uh, all right. Uh, when? <laughs> And to be honest, the fe- for as long as this channel's been out, when are you coming out with your first single? Man, don't worry about that, man. That's top secret information. I can't give you all that. What's the title? Man, only a select flu- few guys know that. You know what I'm saying? No, don't, don't don't worry about that. All right. Because so far, like even on a SoundCloud, you've only done one song, and that was you singing the alphabet. And, you know, and I'm pretty sure other people, you know, out there probably know about this is that, you know, he's going to be in a quote unquote cover band with uh, me and Ron. We're still uh, working on the first album and we don't even have the first title for it yet. But it's just going to be mostly covers and maybe like one or two original songs in the album. But, of course, we're still in the writing process. Yeah, dog, you know what I'm saying? Man, we're going to be doing we're going to be doing some stuff, man. Like the best internet songs, you know what I'm saying? Best rock songs, best hip hop, you know what I mean? Cuz you know I'm a beast in that category, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pretty much what he said, I guess. But of course, I'm pretty sure even the people listening to this, you know, at home or in their car, they're going to want to uh hear a freestyle from you, uh Raggedy. So you, know, you want you want you want to bust one hour or you want to wait till later. Man, dog, man, bring me up a beat right now. Right now, bring me out a beat and I will destroy it. All right. All right so so you you're sure you're ready for this? Yo, man, I say everything off the top of the dome, dog. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, a freestyle from Raggedy Draws. Oh yeah, y'all feel yo crank that up, Matt. Yeah, I'm feeling this. Hold up. I gotta get in the right mind, know what I'm saying? Oh. Yo. Can you turn it up a little hot? That's that's as hard as I can get it turned up. Alright, alright, alright. I guess I can work with it. Alright. Yo. Yo. I'm sitting on a boat, looking at a goat. Holy shit, son, the dog can't float. Uh! Is that it? You know what I'm saying? You know, I can't, you know, I can't let these youngins steal all my fire. You know what I'm saying? All right, I want to apologize for wasting everyone's time. Man, man, oh, what the fuck, no? I, like I said, I apologize for wasting all of you guys this time. Uh, yeah. Let's, uh, no. Anyway, moving along. So, you guys already know Raggy Draws hip-hop skills. So, uh, let's move on to a different topic. <laughs> so, like, what, what truly made you want to work on music? You know what I'm saying? You know, it, it was mostly for the ladies. Because, you know, uh, as Britney Spears would say, I, I'm a womanizer. A woman, woman, womanizer. And can you explain in detail how you're a woman, 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 woman,
You know what I'm saying? You know, say say like, all right, let me put you, let me paint you a picture, all right? Because you know, you know, I'm I'm Bob. You know, the Bob the painter. You know, I'm Bob. I'm gonna paint you a picture, all right? So listen, I'm just chilling at the crub. You you know, chilling, chilling. You know, did you just say the crub? Man, club crub, man. That's how I call it, the crub, man. Okay, rapper Rag the Draws now officially cannot speak English. And whatever. Anyway, I'm chilling at the crub, like I said. Cause you know, I'm a, see, I'm a rapper, man. My mind is always working, man. I ain't got time to si- you know sound out every single fucking letter in the alphabet. All right, go ahead, finish, finish what you were saying. All right, so listen, I'm chilling at the cr- club, right? And you know, I'm just sitting here, you know, I'm taking back some shots, you know, I'm cool and I'm chilling, you know, I'm 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 standing around, you know, I'm hitting the vibe, and then you know, some shorty come up talking about she want a margarita. And, you know, I'm like, hey, man, put that on my tab. And then she'd be like, thanks. And then she'd walk away. That, 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 that's, that's how your boy Raggedy do things. So you just buy a girl a drink, and she says thanks, and do you take her home at least? No, nah, I mean, why, why I got to take her home? That's just how you do it. You get her a drink, and then she keep it moving. But she she was vibing me, though. I think she was vibing you because of the fact that she didn't have to pay for her drink. Yeah. I think I think you got played, Raggedy. Nah, dog, I'm mad. Nah, nah. I, I don't get played unless I'm getting my ass whooped in Call of Duty or something. I ain't getting played like that. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, I've worked with, with a whole bunch of producers. Okay, now you... No, okay... Now, you haven't yet released an album. The only thing you've ever released was you rapping the ABCs. So, how can you say you've been in studios and stuff? Man, could, man, you know how long a process be? Man, I'm trying to make a 60-track album. You think that's just going to happen overnight? I mean, not really. Exactly, dog. Man, you don't even know what you be talking about. What do you know about music anyway? I mean, I know enough to... All right, you know, I'm not even going to, I'm not going to entertain that with an answer. Yeah, that's right, dog. Well, with all that aside, can, can you give us, like, what's a day in the life of, of Raggedy Draws? Can can you can you let the listeners at home, like, entertain them with how a day in the life of Raggedy Draws happens when you first wake up in the morning? All right, cool, so check it. All right, first... You know, I get my detox on. You know, I drink plenty of water. You know, I have at least, you know, a half bottle of water when I wake up. You know, get my organs to be like, hey, we out here, you know, get my organs. Hey, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, I get a cup of coffee. You know, you got to get that caffeine in you. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, because a lot of people think like, oh, Raggedy so gangster. Like, oh, my God, how can I get like him? And it's like, you can't, man. There's only one of me. You know what I'm saying? You know, all these rappers out here, they be walking around with pit bulls and wattwallers. Like, bro, that ain't nothing. I got cats. Because I stay with pussy, man. Well, who didn't see that coming? Anyway. So, you know, I... I and, man, because, you know, pit bulls and wattwallers, you know, they bite your hand. You know, they attack you and all that. But, man, a cat will fuck your face up. Man, this one time I pulled on my cat's tail a little too hard when I was petting it. Motherfucker scratched the shit out of my hand, dog. I was like, ah, 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 all damn day. All right. So, I mean, what, uh, anything else? Look, see, like like I said, pe- people always want to know, hey, yo, rap, man, you got all this money, dog. Like, man, what kind of cars you got? Like, bro, I don't even own cars. Because, see, man, that's how people get messed up in this world, man. They'd be buying cars and then going into debt trying to pay it off and getting a car crash. And they'd be like, oh, dang, I just crashed my ride, man. I have 15 more months to pay it off and all that. Man, I ride the bus, dog. You know how much money and cash flow I'm saving, taking the bus where I need to go? So, uh, how much do you make, Raggy? Man, I can't discuss some numbers, man. I plead the fifth. I plead it. You're broke, aren't you? Man, I plead the fifth, dog. All right. Go ahead. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I catch the bus, man. Plus, you know, 
see all these people out here, man, when they want to meet their fans, they meet up on top of stages or on top of rooftops, wait, looking down. I'm like, man, I like to be one-on-one, man. I like to be face-to-face with my fans, dog. That's why I be riding the bus, man. You get to meet all these people. And like, hey, yo, man, Raggedy Draws, can I sit next to you? Do you always introduce yourself like that? Man, you, because you know already know who it is, man. But I got to let these people know, like, hey, Raggedy Draw, man, can I sit next to you, man? Or sir? You know, especially, man, when them old people be getting on the bus. Man, I be giving up my seat. I don't mind standing up on the bus. You know, especially when a wheelchair get on. They take 15, 20 minutes to get on the bus. I ain't got no problem getting up and moving out the way. You know, because I'm a, I'm a law-abiding citizen. You know, I got I got respect respect my elders, dog. And I feel like nowadays these little kids out here, they run around with sprinkles in their hair and shit. Man, they don't respect their elders. And it's a shame. It's sad. People... Popping mollies and all that other shit, but don't respect the elders. They don't stay true to themselves, man. They talk about, oh, yeah, I made it out. And I'm like, bro, you went to community college. Shut your ass up. You don't know nothing about no hood shit. Know what I'm saying? Right. I guess that some people can agree with it. I guess. Yeah, man, you got to agree with shit like that, man. Because I be spitting some truth out here, though. And I feel like people don't understand that. Well, what else you got? Like, what else makes Raggedy Draws gangster? All right, you know what I'm saying? See, like, like say, like, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah. Oh, damn, hold up. This, oh, thank you. This, damn, man. Got sweet iced tea. Damn, your pod, damn, your podcast lit, dog. You just got iced tea laying around and shit. And it's sweet, god damn. Anyway. So... <laughs> Raggedy, just, I feel like you're going off into 18 different subjects when you talk. Man, you know what I'm saying? No, man, because, you know, yeah. All right. So, anyway, like I was saying if I was really interrupted, yo, all these people out here, you know, they got mansions, $15 million homes. Man, I chill, like, well, at least ever since you moved out, you know what I'm saying? I got a two-bedroom apartment. Alright, and of course, you know, I'm living with my boy Ron, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you should have Ron on the show. I, no. Man, why not? He, I, he's one of the main reasons why I moved out, Raggedy. Or should I say Anthony? Hey, man, dog, man, don't be putting my motherfucking name out there like that, dog. You trying to get me killed out here? Alright. Hey, if any of you guys out there want to make a Wikipedia of uh, Anthony Johnson over here. I think people would actually like to do that. Hey, yo, dog, don't be making no goddamn Wikipedia about me. I will report you, hack your IP address, and, and, and swat you. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't that what people do nowadays? They swat people? I guess. I don't... Anyway, what are you saying? All right, so listen. You know, I ain't got no mil- you know million-dollar home. Or I ain't got no condos in Hawaii. Like, because all, all they do is spin, spin, spin. You know what I'm saying? Like, all these celebrities, they're making all the goddamn money. Like, they ain't giving... There's, like, a few select celebrities that give their money back. Man, I give to charity all the time. Really? You you actually do that? For, like, research? Yeah, man, the research, man, all the 10 yards, man. I stay giving money, especially to the less fortunate. Because, you know, you... Like... You, how, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, once I was able to help myself, you got to help others. You know what I'm saying? Help yourself before you help others. Because if you just help others, then how are you going to help yourself? You know what I'm saying? That actually makes some sort of sense. So, like, like what charity? Like, like uh, like uh you know, campaigns for, like, school supplies and stuff like that? No, 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 no. I don't, I, I don't do that. Uh, for, like... Cancer research, diabetes research. No, 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 no. I, didn't you hear me before? Though I said to the less fortunate, and it's kind of like I, I give out so much money, and like I give it to them straight cash. I don't do that bullshit where I get a press conference, I hand them a big ass check of fifteen thousand dollars, and none of that bullshit. I give them to them straight cash. Really? You actually like like walk up to like a random charity and just say, "Hey, here's a bag of money." Have fun with it, that type of thing. Like, does that even is that even legal? Can you do that? Yeah, dog man, you can do that. Or I mean, at least to the charity that I give to, I I, I do do that. I mean, what charity? Like, I've already given you like a small like. What charities do you like give out to? Dog strip clubs. Raggedy. Strip clubs aren't charity. 
Man, man, no, because, man, they'd be less fortunate, you know what I'm saying? Like, some of these girls be taking off their clothes, showing their breasts and stuff, and some are trying to get through college, and you know what I'm saying? They're less fortunate, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, and I'd be saving some money, man. I'd be giving them, you know, $20, you know, dance on me and all that type of stuff. I mean, I've been kicked out of a couple of them for, you know, doing some stuff, but we won't get into that. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm always happy to give back. Because other people out here, man, they be giving back, expecting something back from them. But a lot of times, man, you know, I hand them like $2, man. They be clapping them cheeks for me. And I'm like, that's all I want. Just some cheeks clapping in my face, though. I ain't asking for, like, no money back, no tax break or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I just give back, man. Wow. I I didn't know uh, strip clubs were charities. Yeah, man, because, man, the girls be working hard out here, man. And, you know, they just do the simplest thing. They just take off their clothes, you know? What, I mean, you ever hear, you know, women's right groups, you know, charities, stuff like that, taking off their clothes? No. But people donate to them, and they be like, oh, yeah, I want a tax break and all that type of shit. Wow, that is incredibly sexist. I would like this stricken from the record books, please. Man, don't, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it, man. Okay, uh, I would also like to make another note that uh, Raggedy Draws does not represent... Uh, the Matt the Funny Man brand, or this podcast, everything he says is by him alone. It does not represent this at all. So, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. Doc, what you mean? Nothing, it's just, uh, it's, uh, legal stuff. Oh, yeah, I don't worry about that legal shit, man. Fuck the police. Yeah. So, we covered just about everything that's, I mean, like, do you have anything else that's like, like, what, what do you consider gangster? In this, like, in nowadays. Like, what do you mean? Like, specific stuff? Or, like, yeah, just just anything. I mean, like, hmm. I mean, that's a little hard to say. Because there's so much gangster shit in the world. You know You know what I mean? I mean, like, like just like, like right now. What are, like, people or, you know, like... I would say, like, just in, in your lifespan, what's the most gangster thing that's ever happened to you oh man that's a hard question hmm no I'm s- internet porn really yeah dog best shit ever made like whoever free internet porn i should say specifically i yeah sure because i'm saying look you can look up anything dog like put in like like, I don't know. Please don't say, like, the most vulgar thing you can think of, please. Like, this is still going on YouTube, mind you. I mean, like... Like a horse gangbang. Uh. Okay. I guarantee you can find that on the internets. Google, bing it, wing it, however however people search it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Internet, free internet porn. Yeah. That's gangster. Wow. Well, I have learned a lot more about you during this than I ever have in my entire life. Hey, man, good to know me because we, we, we friends, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know we doing the, doing the band thing. You know what I'm saying? Band your videos and stuff like that, dog. And, of course, you guys are probably wondering, like, oh, Matt, why do you have Raggedy Draws on the show? You know, it's also because he, he's going to be coming out with a new video soon. Oh, yeah, man. You know, I'm, I'm going to teach you how to make some gangst, more gangster food. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm ha- I can't wait. We're going to start shooting tomorrow, right? As of this recording, uh, today's what, the 29th? Yeah. So the 30th is when we'll start filming the New video. Yeah, man, cause, man, I haven't been in a video in a minute, dog. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I got to get, you know. I got to show all these people how to be gangster, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really psyched for it, dog. But, uh, wow. Anyway, so, uh, I guess this is the... Wow, surprisingly, we actually have our first question for our, our Ask Matt segment, quote-unquote. We'll probably have more questions, but to be honest... We literally just got a question two minutes ago by uh, my homeboy Patrick. Hey, yo, what up, Pat? What up, dog? (laughs) 
Ask Matt questions. Here we go. Have you ever put your pubic hairs in microbeads for extra clit sim- stimulation? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, dog, no, that real funny, dog. I mean, Raggedy, have you? Not. Nah, I mean, nah, nah, nah. Because I'm stacked. I ain't got to worry about that. You know, I'm clean down there. Like, like what, scorched earth? Yeah, dog, man. All the force has been removed. You know what I'm saying? Gotcha. Did not need to know about the stacked part, but gotcha. But, <laughs> no, man. I've, I've never done that. <laughs> I've never done that before. Because, you know... You, you know, you get too sweaty down there. You know what I mean? Yeah, dog, man. We, we, especially, you know what I'm saying? We out here in Vegas, man. It's like 115 degrees out here, man. Sweaty down. You know, we ain't trying to get... Su- Ain't trying to get some swalls or a swack. You know what I'm saying? What's a swack? You know, it's when you got a, a sweaty sack. But you call it swack. So you're just making up shit now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Sounds good to me. But, uh, Factory, thank you so much for uh, your question. And, of course, if you guys have any more questions uh, from episode 12, I will read them in the next upcoming episode since this was a very special episode of It's a Matter of Fact with, uh, Homeboy Raggedy Draws over here. Yeah, dog, man, I appreciate you having me on the show. Man, man you have me co-host this show, like, full-time. No. Oh, no, 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 I got a better idea. Let me host. Like, let me do a podcast episode, you know what I'm saying? I don't think the world is ready for that at all. I truly don't think that. Man, you sure, dog, man? Because, you know what I'm saying? I'll lay down fat beats, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, man, man, I'm trying to tell you, man, I'll put it down. I will put it down, son. No, I'm I'm positive, right? You 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 don't have to. Matter I don't want you to. Hey, hey, for real, though? For real, man? This job messed up. Yeah, that's... We're not doing that. We're, we're not doing that. What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> my... I don't know. I'm, Patrick, I might actually research what you wrote to see if that's actually true. Not saying I would grow out my pubes, but I actually want to see if that's... I actually want to do my own independent research study on that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, dumb man? What about the research? Yeah! Hype! Yeah. But, uh... I would like to give a spe- special... Thanks... To Raggedy Draws for being here with uh, with me today. Yo, dude, man, it was a pleasure, man. It was an honor. You know what I'm saying? You know, until you know the big big dogs. You know what I'm saying? Now I'll do interviews with them. And I'll be like, yo, yo, man, fuck the podcast. Oh, my bad. You just don't know when to shut up, do you? Man, no, dude, man. Like I said, man, my, my, my mom be racing and all that. All right, all right, all right. Anyway. Thank you guys so much. This has been... Another episode of It's a Matter of Fact. Be sure to click any of these links here on the screen. Of course, you know, we hey, we got that sexy playlist of all the episodes. Hey, in case you ever want to marathon it. And, of course, hit that other little button right there to subscribe. And, you know, ring a ding, 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 ling, 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 ling that bell. And, hey, we'll put up a, hey, there's another playlist. There you go. We'll, we'll, we'll throw that one in there. You can click that one, too. But I appreciate you guys listening. It's been another episode of It's a Matter of Fact. And I will see you guys... In the next episode. Hey, yo, dog, peace, homie.